if you're a photographer who shoots e-commerce or photos for id purposes you know how tedious it is to crop all these images to a particular size or ratio fortunately retouch for me has released a new tool to do this for you within the shortest possible time retouch for me crop is an ai powered solution that transforms your workflow it analyzes your images and suggests the most balanced and professional crop in seconds let's take a look at this in action so let's cancel this and start afresh so when you open up your plugin, this is the interface you get. So you get to browse to import images or you can just drag and drop. So in this case, I'll just drag and drop this image here. So if we look around, we'll see a couple of buttons and actions. Now over here, we have the aspect ratios. You can choose any aspect ratio that you want. In my case, because most of my images end up on social media, especially Instagram, I use the Instagram crop, which is four by five. So I'll choose that. Once I have my aspect ratio selected, I will need to make some selections here. If you look at the crop here, we have manual, fixed, and then auto. So let's take a look at auto first. With auto, we have a couple of crops we can choose from. We can combine a couple of them. What that means is if we leave all these options selected, we are going to have them applied to the image where necessary these colors tell you something green means it is the most appropriate for this image blue means it's okay but this is more like the recommended so here we have passport face and shoulders upper body faceless top faceless body half body three quarters and then full so here we want full for this image at the ratio of and the aspect ratio of four by five. So with this, we have our crop. This is for just one image, which is not the reason why we are here. So let me cancel this and then import a bunch of images. So let me drag and drop these images here. Now let's select our first image and then we will go ahead and do our select. So here we have this perfectly fit in the full body crop. So if you look at the second image, realize that the crop won't work for this image because of the the size of the image let's go to the third image it works perfectly and then over here also let's see what we get okay this is also ignored also ignored it works here and it works here so with this, we are good to go. We can just click on start and then we have our images cropped for us automatically within seconds. Now let's go to fixed and take a look at some. So with fixed, we'll select whichever crop we want from the selection here. So based on what we select, you see what is showed here. So if we select just passport, only face, face and shoulders, it uh, brings it up. Upper body, we get more, more then we keep going keep going until we have full body so now with uh, fixed we want full body so we will go ahead and then cycle through the images and see what the full body crop gives us so you see here because we have been specific we want only full body for all of them we don't want anything automatic it's giving us the crop that works for full body so this is what we have. All our images here have been well cropped by full image. So now let's go to stats. So now if we click on start, it's going to crop all these images, giving us the same aspect ratio and much more uniformity. So if you're shooting for e-commerce or you're doing, you're shooting for a school that's going to use um, the pictures for a yearbook or something, this plugin helps you have a, a consistent crop across all the images. Now let's look at something much more interesting. If let's say for we finish this image, we finish this shoot and the client says, you know what? I want a tighter crop. Let's say it's for a jewelry. Uh, the, let's say we did this shoot with full body in mind, but after taking the pictures, the client says, so you know what? I would want maybe a tight crop here to display the jewelry over here. No problem at all. We can just come to face and shoulders or upper here. Yes. So this shows much more of the jewelry. So if we cycle through, we are going to get all these. 
So if you go ahead and click on Start, we will need to select where we want the images to go and then it will go through. Here we have seven images. So it will go through and then export the seven images. And don't forget, we chose the upper body crop. So it's going to crop just the upper body for us with much consistency. So once it's done, I'll open up the images here so we take a look at them. So you see, we had full images, but we were able to crop them to just the face and shoulder to be able to get a close-up look of the jewelry. Remember, we did not take close-up of um, the jewelry, but this tool has been able to help us crop this uniformly within seconds. You could do this by yourself, but it will take much more time to achieve. Now we have other tools here that you can use, the auto straighten. You can decide to add it. So with that, what it does is it, it will try to auto straighten the image for you using AI. So if you don't want it, you just disable it. You can straighten it yourself using this tool here. So let's reset it back to zero since we don't want that. Also, you can move this crop to wherever you want to maintain the consistency. So let's say we come to manual and we choose, let's say half body. And we want this to be somewhere here. Half body, we come cycle through all the images and you see it gives us that half body crop consistently throughout all the images. This is your chance to head to the Retouch For Me website and grab this plugin for yourself. There are various plugins on the website here. If you come to Products, Retouch Plugins, and you will see the crop. You see, it's a new tool that has been released. It's to make your work easier as a photographer, especially if you do more of product shoots, um, catalog shoots, or photo ID shoots. Don't forget to use the link in my description to make your purchase so that you get a massive discount. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.